This is Stefano with Daily Adam Collins and Jeff Lemon. It's all for advanced hair, the world leaders in hair restoration. We'll come back to them a little bit. Two great heads of hair, you and me, but anyway, I digress. Uh, Jeff, you've got a job to do first. 30 second summary of this weird old day of test cricket we've seen at the Gaul International Cricket Stadium. Sri Lanka batted first, a wicket each for Cummins and Stark, the Australian quicks. Uh, but, you know, two for 74, looking pretty good. And then David Warner takes a ridiculous catch at slip off Nathan Lyon, and away they go, the spinners. Lyon, five, swept and takes three. Bowl out Sri Lanka for 212. Angelo Matthews played pretty skillfully for 39. Niroshan Dickwell, a reverse sweep, counter-attack, 58. Uh, and then Australia, three for 98 by the end. Manus Labuschagne reverse sweep, a Steve Smith run out, and David Warner in a blaze of glory, hitting five boundaries off the top and then getting himself LB. They're in it, but they could be out of it pretty quickly. Yeah, Kawaja 47 not out there with head on six. They trail by 114 at the close of play, having dismissed Sri Lanka for 2-1-2. Two, two. Uh, let's start with Nathan Lyon, shall we? Mm -hmm. Let's go into the middle of the day where sure. Lyon, uh, just after lunch, he bowled so well before lunch and without reward. His first ball of the series was akin to the ball that he bowled to uh, Kumar Sangakkara on this ground all those years ago, except this one didn't take the edge, it smashed into Alex Carey's grill. Yep. And that's where we knew we had a party to get started with the spinners. The puff yep. of dust was visible, and Lyon was able to take advantage of that in the middle session. Uh, gets Karuna Ratna, that catch you referred to from David Warner, um, then Schweppes and takes a couple, he gets another, he cleans up the tail. Uh, Nathan Lyon taking responsibility on a surface where he should. Where he should, and where he came on in the sixth over yep. of the innings. Um, a little bit of Cummins captaincy stuff there. Yep. Cummins comes on, bowls two overs, and then thinks, let's have a look at the off spinner. And as you say, the first one, the, the explosion sight, the way it shoots across him with Karuna Ratna, who you know, like he, he's an interesting character study because 2016 he had a horrible series. Mm. Mitchell Stark got him out five innings in a row. He made naught, naught, seven, seven, and five across five innings in that series. Wow. Um, and Lyon got him in the last inning stumped because he was, I think, just so relieved to have made it to 20 without getting out to <laughs> Mitchell Stark that he galloped down the track and got stumped. Uh, he's a much better player since. He's had a very good five or six years since then. But coming out today, I mean, he looked all at sea once Nathan Lyon started to bowl. And mm. then when Swepson came on, similarly, like, there were lots of false shots. There was lots of stuttering. There was no sure plan about how to bowl spin. And, and that was down to, you know, this surface being very helpful for spinners. Sri Lanka picked four spinners. So you know, four? Yeah, four. Count them, four. Got um, enough spinners? Got enough spinners, guys? Want any more spinners? Have we got any room for more, you know, slapping the roof of the car? This bad boy can fit a lot of spinners in it. Um, there was no doubt that the pitch was going to suit spinners, but it was still pretty exciting to see Lyon just explode out of the blocks in the sixth over of the day. Yeah, his 20th five-wicket bag in Test cricket. Nice that he's first and his 20th were both here at Gore. Nice little milestone for him there. 530, 432, 432 Test 432. wickets, mate. Not 5,000. He'll, little he'll, be, he'll be there in a few years. 432, yeah. which takes him beyond Richard Hadley into 12th place on the list. He'll be yep. in the top 10 by the end of the series, presumably. Well, the way he's tracking. by the end of the match, because so Herath's on 433 um, and Kapil Dev's 434. Uh, right, yeah. So they're both you know, he could get them in the in second striking innings. distance, that's right. So, yeah, Lyon, what a contributor he's been over such a long stretch of time. Massive and, day and for... And what a nice thing it would be if, if he overtook Herath here at Gaul, uh, yeah. where Herath was so good. Where, Gaul, where Herath I took mean, 102 wickets yeah. at Spit. Yeah, and that, what a wonderful career Where Herath, where Herath took had. a hat-trick against Australia that's here six right. years earlier. Last time. Uh, all last coming time. together beautifully. That's all coming together beautifully. Um, and Karuna Ratner, who averages 55 at this ground, he's made yep. 400s here. Uh, the fact that the Australians had him looking so at sea um, was seemed significant as well. Yeah, I... I agree. And down the other end, you've got Mitch Swepson. Now, remember, he, he took, I think, one wicket on the final day at Karachi. Mm -hmm. uh, and well, he took two in his first... Yeah, two, two in two his first Two in the first innings, innings and yeah. I, think one in the, I think one on the final day. The point I'm making... I don't 500 think, you know what? I don't think he did. I think he had a couple of catches dropped, and I think he finished with none for... OK, well, either way, Barat yep. worked it out for me. 514 balls between dismissals. And yep. that, that starts to play in your mind after a while, even on a favourable surface, and then getting two in two yeah. Yeah. on the hat-trick. Yeah. And he had Dick Weller sweeping the hat-trick ball. You were on commentary for a moment we thought he might have top edged it, yeah, it was off I the did. glove uh, off the um off the thigh pad I think in the end but we nevertheless were, we were watching from behind the the player and it just looked like it had popped up but it maybe it had gone into the ground or something I was too distracted in the moment by the excitement Fair of it enough, all but yeah. um, you know it wasn't caught but and I suppose you could say a player who doesn't take a wicket for 514 balls is in a way unlucky they're also in a way very lucky to still be in a team <laughs> bowling after not having taken a wicket for 514 balls but yep. it felt like the Australian camp came to Sri Lanka with a very premeditated we are playing Swepson we're backing Swepson because the conditions in Pakistan were so difficult to take wickets they were like give him a go on a pitch that actually helps 
and he did look dangerous as soon as he came on. Yeah, there's a perception around Pakistan that it rags. And if you're a good spinner, you do well in Pakistan, but Didn't rag. It, it's concrete. Yeah. yeah, it's about consistency. It's about building up pressure with men around the bat as the pitch gets broken up. Here, I mean, this is an old-fashioned Bunsen burner, right? So yeah. um, if you're Swepson and you're able to shred the ball across the right hander the way he did to get his first wicket, mm -hmm. and indeed his second. Immediately. Immediately after that. And yeah. got a third at the end, but that was when uh, they were bowling to the tail. Uh -huh. I think that's a significant moment in his fledgling test career. Yep. And Nathan Lyon has a spinner he can bowl with him. If John Holland was fit with that finger, I know he was going from... Uh, nowhere to the A squad to the test team. I reckon mm. there's a decent, decent chance they actually would have played Holland. They like okay. finger spinners in Sri Lanka, but yeah. now Swepson's got a toehold in the series. Um, hopefully, it's the start of something for him because yeah, he, he's definitely mm. done his apprenticeship. He's waited his turn, uh, and now it'd be good to see him uh, perform on the big stage. Uh, in terms of uh, the way the rest of the day played out, Australia got off to a flyer in reply to 212. David Warner hit four fours in his first five or six balls or something like that. Mm -hmm. The first two balls he faced from Asitha Fernando and the first two balls he faced from uh, Emil Didier, wasn't it? Uh, in the third uh, yep. over of the game. Yep. No, Dunn and Jay. It was Emil Didier. Yeah, Dunn and Jay bowled one over for two and got taken out. four bowlers bowl the first four Don't steal my Hall of Fame. Oh, sorry. But but we did get... You didn't hear that. we forgetting all of that. We did see Warner come out and I suppose I sort of, at the side of my mouth, said, watching England play, have you? David um, over the last few days and right. um, and maybe he has watched England play his old um, his old mate Johnny Bairstow David from Sunrise. has been doing this since before England. No, right? no, no, remember no. him at Adelaide against India in 2014 yes, where he was I just do. like I'm going to make 36 of the first 12 balls yeah, or whatever no, no. it was. I, I, I'm yeah. being facetious but yeah. he, in any case it was Warner going after the spin Warner and Kawaja playing conservatively then Warner misses a straight one, mm -hmm. uh, which will frustrate him, being beaten on the inside edge, hit him on the back pad. No mm -hmm. need to review that. But it Love was it. so reminiscent of last time. It was that was the Dilruan Pereira absolutely uh, yeah. dismissal method for so many Australians across that series. It, this this one was Ramesh Mendes, the the off spinner, you know, similar similar kind of bowling style. The new so Dilruan. The Dil new Dilruan. The uh, the the Dilfruan maybe. I <laughs> know uh, he's, he's very young. No, don't he's say too, that. Too young for that. Um, <laughs> far too young. But but. Uh, he, one day you can be the deal for all. He, he just, yeah, like play your cards right. Keep trim. You know, that's what it's all about. Stay um, with that overspin. Yeah. And he just skidded it through and it was zick. And, and, it, and it, I, I remember, you know, on the slow-mo, you see David Warner's back thigh jiggling, you know, like someone's just punched a bowl of jelly in slow motion. And he just walked straight off. He yeah, didn't he talk to Kawaji. He was like... See you later, buddy. <laughs> which, which was just after, what, a couple of overs before where one got um, knocked back against Usman Kawaja. That's right, yeah. Where it was given out and Kawaja reviews it, and it's found to have pitched outside the leg stump before turning back and smacking him in front of middle. It could have been going over, but I think it was probably hitting the top of middle stump. That should be out in, in test cricket. Like... The pitching outside leg something like, like maybe if you're coming around the wicket and just banging it in from that sort of angle. But if you're if you're a right armer coming around the wicket and then going across the player and pitching outside leg and turning it back and nailing them in front, like that's got to be out. That was a brilliant piece of bowling. It would certainly change the way that players play. Mm. If, if they would have op more open stances, you wouldn't see players closed off and, and but, playing but that's not, play that's straight down the leg something. That's line. not having the bowler coming from no, I understand. coming you from outside the player's legs. Least. They're still coming from the offside. Yeah, from of around the, the wicket. You yeah. still open up more and yeah. if you yeah that's a debate for another day speaking of players not talking to one another mm. um, I wonder how the team bus ride home would have been with Kawaja and Smith Kawaja barbecue Smith let's just say that as it is that's what yes, happened that's what although happened. I will say that Smith was well watching as well he was sure. manful, manful mindful of the LBW appeal that was playing out through that that whole episode but nevertheless um, Kawaja called yes Smith came they go back disaster run out mm. I've rarely seen in modern cricket, a player gesticulate like that mm. with Smith. I mean, mm. I said this on commentary as well. Mm -hmm. You see that in park cricket. You see it on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. Most of the time in professional televised cricket, they know that if they kick off yeah. when they're walking off, it'll become the story. And it will become, to an extent, the story. No, and that's not to an extent. It'll be all over, you know. The and I think that's avoidable from Smith. Yeah, I think yeah, that's where, you know, posts captains... We see a bit of that when he was captain. Yeah. That reminded me of the Smith as captain at first slip going mental when something had gone against him. The this kind this of reminded me of Smith in that era, not where he's been in recent times, yeah, focused on his yeah. batting, but we haven't seen as many blow-ups. The, the, the kind of websites that like to write stories about someone slamming someone yes. will be enjoying this because they'll be like, Steve Smith slams, slams Usman teammate Kawaja. Usman Kawaja. Oh, absolutely <laughs> trashed his reputation. I mean, yeah, you got run out and it sucks, and, and, and I agree that that's unfortunate and all the rest of it, but still, it happens. It's the same as you don't do this to umpires 
when you're walking off because otherwise you get hit with a descent charge. That's right. All the stuff we've seen in, in AFL this year, they're like, don't put your hands out. If you put your hands out, we'll pay a 50 against you. Yeah, it, but, it, it, it was almost like kidology. It was where Smith just wanted everybody to know it wasn't his fault. No, no, it's not yeah. my fault. And watch, I'll, I'll turn around to Usman seven times and point at him to reinforce yeah, yeah, that it wasn't yeah. my fault. We can see that right. because we also watch the broadcast. Yeah, like Smith <laughs> runs upstairs, gets on a spotlight and then turns it on on Usman yeah. Khawaja and then plays the <laughs> bah, bah music. Did like, you see his face in the dressing room about 20 minutes after? No. I mean, it, it wasn't desolation and despair. It was yeah. anger. Oh. White hot fury 20 minutes after the okay. act. I okay. mean, again, I know they're professional sportsmen and, and they're entitled it's, to take it very seriously. But and it's, it's been a, a long wait and he hasn't played much test cricket yeah. in the last few years and all the rest of it. And it's his first innings here and he was, you know, looked okay for his six off 11 balls. But, like... Shit happens, you know? Yeah. I mean, these, kind of the game, these, right? these things do happen. And yeah, Smith, I can see why he's annoyed. He's, he's watching the ball, but he puts his hand up and then he turns around to look and he sees Kawaja's three, well, a third of the way down the pitch and he goes, okay, well, we're going then. And he starts and then Kawaja says, actually, no thanks and goes back. Sure, you'd be annoyed. You've committed because you think the other guy's committed and Kawaja has form with not putting his wicket at risk versus putting someone else's at risk between the wickets. So let's just put it that way. Uh, nonetheless, it's happened. Once it's done, it's done. There is no point kicking off about it. Let's go back to Sri Lanka's innings to reflect upon the Rush and Dick Weller. We've enjoyed his work. Mm. 21 half centuries, no tons, worst conversion rate ever. But today it was a slightly different hand because he was batting mostly yeah. with the bowlers. Initially, Ramesh Mendes, they put on a really important partnership of 54, yeah. I think it was, about a runner ball. To turn a bit of pressure back on Australia uh, just before Reverse the Reverse sweep, break. second delivery you faced. He I mean, swept five of the first six balls he faced. He would have swept, I think Dick Weller faced 52 balls through his 58. Mm -hmm. 40 of those balls were sweeps, reverse sweeps, or attempted sweeps and reverse yep. sweeps. He's that kind of player. Yep. Um, good luck to him for doing it. And I admire him for having a plan and sticking to it. Yep. Mendez batted well for 23 too. He's yep. got a first class average of 40 and he's made five first class tons. He's a yep. he's a very good number eight. The problem is they've got three number 11s. And he's he's seen to be almost, he, he's more of a batting all-rounder in domestic cricket yeah, yep. and a bowling all-rounder in the Sri Lankan team somehow. He's he's a frontliner in the Sri Lankan team. But they still gave Dunanjay De Silva the ball before they gave Ramesh Mendes the ball. Yeah, that was weird. Even though Mendes was the more threatening once he started to Never operate. changed Sri Lankan cricket. No, no, no. I mean, who knows what's going on. I mean, yeah, okay, I'll come to the, the other bit I was going to say later. But. Okay, well, I, I think I know that where that might fit. Yeah. Uh, and also, Angelo Matthews. So, uh, he's had a, a big 2022 oh. so far. Yeah. Uh, he made 200 against Bangladesh in May in Dhaka and Chittagong. He looked set today. He made oh, a 199 as well. Made a 199 as yep. part of that. He looked kind of set. What I quite like from him is, against the seamers especially, he's happy to play from the crease. He actually just trusts his game, mm -hmm. as you would when you've got nearly 7,000 test runs at 46. Yep. But He's not trying re trying to reinvent the wheel that someone like Dick Weller is. Yeah. He's got a far more straightforward, conventional approach. And he got out caught around the corner by mm -hmm. line, which was at a crucial moment. If line doesn't get him there, yep. um, I mean, in all probability, Sri Lanka still get bowled out today. Yep. But, I mean, it's hard to know what 2-1-2 constitutes their first inning score. That might be loads because this surface will be a minefield by day three. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think it's huge, but I think it's good, you know, because yeah. Australia could be bowled out short of it, but they might get a little bit ahead, but I think 250 would have been a really good score yeah, I agree. based on what yeah. we saw today. So maybe they're a bit shy, but they're not that much shy. And the way that Matthews played, you know, what I particularly noticed today was he, he stepped right away from the ball at times and just reached, you know, there were times when he played it off middle stump having backed away. Yep. Just to make sure that if he got an edge off that ball, it wouldn't hit the pad and bob up somewhere. He was yep. just keeping his body out of the firing line to make sure that there was no squeezing it in to, to pop up to a close catcher or all the rest of it. He trusted his hand-eye coordination to read the ball off the pitch and get the bat in the way and not get the body anywhere near it. And he looked so composed compared to everyone else. I mean, Dunajaya De Silva came in and looked oh, yeah. a hot mess. Like, he was getting out of the cab at 3 a.m. He'd lost his shoes. <laughs> you know, his lip shoot was all across his face. It all looked like, you know, like the Joker coming out of that hospital. He's about to blow up. Like, it, it was... It was messy it was ugly he got dropped twice he could have yep. been out about six other times he was just slogging away at things and eventually he was out for 14 and I mean it felt like it it felt like they put the green screen up and you're <laughs> like oh, thank god he's not suffering anymore <laughs> and they, so they got him off whereas Angelo Matthews was just calmly you know had a little drive down to long on a little flick down to fine leg for four played the pull shot to some balls that weren't even short enough to play it but he just made the length by getting back on his stumps he looked in supreme control and he had David Warner at second slip the whole time and then Warner moves to leg slip and next ball Matthews goes around the corner and guides it to him and just looked around and was like ah like he'd forgotten that David Warner had moved mm. and he was furious with himself because he was batting so well yeah I love it when a plan comes together from Lions perspective all right Jeff let's take a beat for the final word hall of fame 
the Final Word Hall of Fame, thanks to the Advanced Hair Studio, the world leaders in hair restoration, advancedhairstudio.com forward slash final word for 15% off. A million people have done it, mm -hmm. more than a million, mm -hmm. across three decades. Yep. Why not get your locks fixed yep. up? Yep. Jeff's got his locks fixed up, all, all natural. Yep. Um, I've got the best hair going around. We, we've confirmed that on multiple occasions. Yeah, but if you you too could enjoy this stupidness of hair falling in your face well, all the should, time, We you should too. recruit Nathan Lyon, who's the player of the yes. day with Five for 90. Imagine Nathan Lyon had a, a second uh, hirsute life. Oh, yes. Imagine, I remember like, when I played cricket at the same club as Nathan before yep. he was a test cricketer, he had um, he had the, had the little necklace, the sharp oh, necklace. Oh, yeah, the coral, the coral, bit, coral bits, was, yep. And he had a nice head of hair. Yep. A nice head of hair. He can have that again. He can have that again. He can jump on the website, advancedhairstudio.com forward slash final word. Get with the program, Nathan. Yep. Any recommendations today? Uh, uh, well, Fafta Plessy got his he locks did. done and he paid full price. He could have got 15% off. Why did he, he do that? Off. Why did he, he do got that? 15% off. Did he, you know, Faf? next time, Faf, come yeah. to us, follow the podcast, and get through to the semis without dropping a, a set. Exactly. So, all right, Hall of Fame. I've uh, got a couple of nominations here. I'd like to give a nomination to the uh, protesters outside the ground who gave a good, rousing like bunch of chants and a lot of noise and banged stuff and, and got real feisty uh, towards the end of play today. Yep. Good stuff. Got to keep sticking it to the man. I I reckon they were going for about an hour as well. They didn't mm -hmm. let up when, when play closed, so fair play to them. And also, it is bloody hot here. Yeah, like yeah. it is, it is. We've been to a lot of hot places, but the, and there's a nice sea breeze. But the humidity here, as soon as you move about three meters, you're drenched with sweat. Really hard work for the players, but to get out there protesting in that heat, uh, salutations to you. Yeah, I was going to cite Alex Carey for similar reasons. Helmet on, which got Clunk's first ball. That takes some doing, keeping to. I guess it would have been the better part of 40 overs of spin, something like that today. Yeah. That's that's about fitness and, and the, you know, it, it really whacked him. He had to have yeah. one of those concussion tests after the first ball that Lyon bowled and he took a really good catch. Um, it was witness involved in a, the fitness. Witness yeah. the fitness, there you go. So you give Alex Carey a fitness test, like passed. <laughs> and, and you mentioned it before, my other nomination yep. is the fact that um, I don't know when the last time this happened, but the first four overs of Australia's mm -hmm. reply mm -hmm. were bowled by four separate Sri Lankan bowlers. Mm -hmm. uh, Asitha Fernando, the seamer, bowled mm -hmm. one over, and much like Saranga Lakmail before him, <laughs> will probably not bowl again for the entire yeah. test match. And then he they might went, come on with, if they if reverse swing's required, but they probably won't get to that point of the inning. That's right, and he probably so, won't bowl in the second innings because yep. it's, it's so dusty out there as it is. Love they it. want their spinners with the new ball. Yep. Then we saw yeah, Dan and Jaya, Ebaldinia, and finally they settled on Mendes, who bowled the rest of the day, yep. which is a nice cherry on top. Yep. Yeah, yeah. The, the little carousel going around. I'd have a nomination for David Warner's slip catches. Yep. Uh, so the leg slip one was straightforward. The first one, it's Karuna Ratna, left-hander, inside edge, into the front pad, and it balloons up to second slip. Everybody else is going up for the appeal. Carey's up, Smith's up, Labashane's up. They're all, hey! And Warner didn't appeal. He sprinted forward, dived full length, and grabbed the rebound because he knew there was an inside edge. Yeah, absolutely. I was on commentary at the time and it was so impressive with the wide shot the TV yeah, gave, yeah. the replay later. Every player, like you say, was focused on LBW, even Lyon. Lyon didn't know it was an inside edge yeah. until after the fact. Only Warner was across yeah. it. Uh, and yeah, that's that's a yep. that's a great piece of fielding and umpiring and the as second well from one, Dharmasena. Dinesh Chandamal, who was who was the, the second one in what could have been a hat trick out first ball, yep. that clips Carey's gloves, flicks away to second slip, hits Warner in the chest, and he grabs it on the rebound. Like terrific catching from him today. And my last nomination would be uh, for Aravinda De Silva uh, and Arjuna Ranatunga. Heroes of yesteryear for Sri Lanka, who came to the ground today and then came and sat in the press box because they refused to sit in the president's box because oh. they do not endorse the politics. I of did the not know president. that's why. We saw them yes. at the lunch break hanging out with Jeremy Coney, old sparring partners, but yep. he's been friends with them for decades and he loved catching up with them. I put a photo on my Twitter feed if you're interested in seeing mm -hmm. um, Big Jezelenko with the two Sri Lankan greats. But most of the Sri Lanka 96 World Cup team are here yep. today as a tribute to Shane Warne. They, had that before play today. One of our colleagues, Scott Bailey from AAP, counted there are 66 pictures of Shane Warne mm -hmm. around the ground this week alongside Morley. So uh, yep. they, they are, they are recognising the, the late great man's passing uh, mm. in style here at Gaul, the ground where he took his 500th test wicket way back when in 2004. And where he, well, was it here where he took the vital three for three for No, that was Colombo, but, but here was that crazy test yep. when Australia were 161 behind. You would but, know but that I if liked. we, on story time, we've done that one before, not too long ago. Before. I just well. couldn't remember which ground it was, but I, the I, liked, I liked that the Sri Lankan greats were like, 
Here's this. <laughs> On principle, we're going to sit in the press box up yours. All right, that has been the Final Word Hall of Fame. Thanks to Advanced Test Studio. AdvancedTestStudio.com forward slash the Final Word. We, Jeff and me, have a page on the Advanced Hair website, yeah, we that is pretty cool. 15% off. Tell your friends, tell your mates. Uh, and that is it. That's I'm it. exhausted. We've got to go somewhere and sit down and yes. have a bite to eat and a drink or something because it has been a long couple of days in the final word world. 